the Attorney General of uh, Arizona, Mark Brnovich, who uh, really led the charge on this litigation on Title 42, and his lawyers argued it in court, that is, the lawyers for Attorney General Brnovich. Well, what do you say about your victory today, sir? Well, great one. Thank you for having me on. You're my actual first call I made after we won this, because as you know, this is a huge decision for the rule of law and a major setback for the Biden administration. As you know, they've been systematically trying to dismantle our southern border. And so we've been doing everything we can to stop it. So this is a great, great result. We've got a nationwide uh, injunction now issued, so they cannot withdraw Title 42 at this time. Now, of course, they're appealing it as fast as they can, but it really exposes what they're up to, doesn't it? Absolutely. As you know, Mark, at one time we thought they wanted to abolish ICE. What they doing or is systematically abolishing our southern border they see the controls of the cartel so whether it's stopping to build the wall whether it's the remain in mexico policy whether it's failure to deport criminals the case i argued at the u.s supreme court two months ago about the public charge rule they want to give welfare benefits to non-citizens and now this so what this has happened joe biden or whoever's speaking his earpiece is systematically trying to dismantle our southern border and bring on their neo-marxist vision the stuff that you've talked about that you've written about we are seeing right now unfold for our very eyes and that's why i am doing everything i can to stop it you know um you really have done a fantastic job as attorney general and we're having to rely on the attorneys general throughout the country to take on this administration and so forth. You have really been at the point of the spear in so many of these cases. As you say, you even went to the Supreme Court from Arizona and argued a case. That's not so easy. And you're you're at the forefront of so many of these cases. I just wonder, are you getting the kind of media attention in the state of Arizona or support from the Republican Party in Arizona that you obviously deserve taking on Biden and his policies this way? Well, Mark, it's nice of you to ask, and I know that uh, many of your listeners may or may not know, when you poke your finger in the king's eye or you say the emperor has no clothes, they come after you hard. And so almost every single day, at least every single week, you have the papers here in the local media systematically trying to accuse me of being some rogue AG or but I'm out of control and all this stuff, and I'm like... When I ran, I never run for Austin, I ran for AG. I, I'm a big believer, as you know, my family fled communism. I'm a big believer in federalism and limited federal government. And so I said I was going to push back at that time against the Obama administration. And that's what I've been doing since day one is what does the Constitution require? What does the rule of law require? And I'm going to make sure that I'm doing everything to uphold the Constitution. And that shouldn't be. At one time, that wasn't a right versus left issue. We could disagree. Mm -hmm. They would disagree with us on what, the, what it meant. But we all understood that any government that's big enough to give you everything is big enough to take it away. And we are seeing this systematic attempt to consolidate power in D.C. And the local media in Arizona has kind of gone along with it. And I think that's because they're, they're afraid that someone that understands these issues fundamentally and pushes back, um, they don't want me to, for example, get elected to the Senate. And that's why they're doing everything they can to attack me. And neither does the Republican establishment, apparently. And, uh, and others who claim the uh, the conservative wing of the Republican Party in that state and have done Dan Little to demonstrate it. You have actively demonstrated it. This is why I endorsed you, Mark Brnovich, for the Senate in the Republican primary, because people call me, they tell me what they believe, they tell me. And, and you didn't do that. I'm watching you and watching you and watching you. And you were on the show one day and I endorsed you because yeah. you're an activist. Like me, you're mission oriented. Like me, you don't want grass to grow under your feet. Like me. <laughs> That's true, brother. It's all about the fight, man. I'm a fighter. You can say what you want, but I'm fighting. If people want to learn more, where do they go, Mark? Burno for AZ.com. B R N O F O R A Z.com. Burno for AZ.com. Thanks. Thanks, everybody. All right. Thanks for what you've done. We appreciate it. Very, very important what he and some of the other AGs have done. God bless them. We'll be right back.